Hello students, under the topic Lagrange's Linear Partial Differential Equation, here we have problem 22. Now when we say this problem, we identify that dou z by dou x is p, small p, and dou z by dou y is small q. And so this problem can be rewritten, so x squared p plus y squared q is equal to x plus y multiplied with z. Now while comparing with the standard form, we get so the standard form is given by capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R. On comparing with the standard form, we have written the values of P, Q and R. We shall now write the auxiliary equation for the Lagrange's form. So the auxiliary equation we have written and we have substituted the value of P, Q and R in the auxiliary equation. Now we shall mark the ratios 1, 2 and 3 and first we shall compare ratio 1 and 2. We can observe that we can solve it easily by the method of grouping. So comparing 1 and 2, we have dx by x square is equal to dy by y square. Now integrating on both the sides, we get the integration for uh, 1 by x square dx is negative 1 by x. So negative 1 by x is equal to and the integration for 1 by y square is negative 1 by y plus a constant of integration c1. This I have integrated by using the formula x power n where, where this x square when raised to the when taken to the numerator it becomes x to the power minus 2 and so uh, on integration we will be using the formula x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and that is how we have obtained negative 1 by x. You may just uh, try it in the rough part and you may check it. And similarly the integration for dy by y square is negative 1 by y uh, plus a constant of integration c1. So from this, this uh, can be written as negative 1 by x. Okay, taking this to the uh, left, it will be plus 1 by y is equal to c1. And therefore the solution v u is u will be equal to this is 1 by y minus 1 by x. So this is the solution u. So we have obtained one of the solution. Next, we have to obtain the solution B, for which we should check whether we, are we able to compare the other two. We are not able to compare 1 and 3, nor we are able to compare 2 and 3. So, we have to, we have to you, do some operations on this and then we have to solve the problem. So, these ratios 1, 2 and 3 will also be equal to. So, I am going to form new ratio with, by using 1 minus 2. So, if we do that, this will be dx minus dy in the numerator. So it will be dx minus dy in the numerator divided by in the denominator x squared minus y square. So x square minus y square. And then this will be equal to the third equation I am just taking and I am writing. The third one is dz by x plus y into z. So dz divided by x plus y multiplied with z. Now if you see here we can rewrite this denominator as so now dx by dy divided by by using the formula a squared minus b squared we have a plus b into a minus b this can be written as x plus y multiplied with x minus y and that is equal to dz by x plus y multiplied with z. We, we observe that x plus y on the right and the x plus y on the left can be cancelled and finally what we get is this is what we obtain after cancelling out x plus y on both the sides. Now integrating on both the sides we know that the, uh, the differentiation of the denominator is the numerator here because if you see if you differentiate x you get dx minus if you differentiate y you get dy. We know that if the differentiation of the denominator is the numerator then the integration of that term can be written as logarithm of the denominator so log of x minus y and that is equal to integral dz by z which is the which is on integration gives us log z plus a constant of integration log c2. Now taking this z to the left we will be having log of x minus y minus logarithm of z is equal to log of c2. Now using the logarithmic rule log a minus log b can be written as log of a by b. So x minus y divided by z is equal to logarithm of c2. Now comparing on both the sides we can say that x minus y by z is equal to the constant c2. Therefore we have obtained the second solution. 
and said therefore the second solution v is equal to x minus y by z and hence the general solution phi of uh, u comma v is equal to 0 will be phi of what is u u we have obtained previously as 1 by y minus 1 by x so 1 by y minus 1 by x comma v is x minus y divided by z is equal to 0 is the required general solution of the given Lagrange's linear partial differential equation. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.